Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a budget video but this is going to be using Excel instead of doing a written budget like I normally do in my Erin Condren planner. Um, so in this example I'm assuming that the person or the family is making um, $100,000 per year so that might be on the higher end or lower end of um, some of your incomes but this is just for example purposes. And I tried um, to kind of mimic how much money they were making to their expenses. So I'm assuming that they have a little bit more of like luxury items and stuff um, in their budget just because they are on the higher end of um, income wise. So here I'm just putting in um, income. I'm also putting in what expenses I'm assuming that they have. So in this example, I'm assuming that they have a mortgage, that they own a home and that their home insurance and their taxes are all included in their mortgage payment. Um, so some of the other expenses that I'm included are typical for house um, household items. So electric, gas, water, trash. I'm also assuming that they have a car payment um, and you know they have a car that they need to fill up with gas. Um, I am including car insurance in this example, which I normally do not. Um, and then other um, items such as household items, groceries, entertainment, clothing. Um, so what you see me doing here is just finding out what they would make per month if they, um, if they made $100,000 per year. So um, you can see that number in the income. And then I'm just filling in, you know, just examples of what their expenses would be. And again, it's kind of on the higher end because I'm trying to um, kind of mimic what their income is and kind of make it more realistic because if they're saving a crap ton of money, it's going to be, it's not going to be as relatable. Um, I'm also, you know, totaling all that up here. So as you can see, they make a little bit over $8,000 per month. Their expenses are um, over 4000 and I'm just subtracting that to get their total savings. I like to um, add formatting to my um, budget. So as you can see, I have the total savings in red and bold. I just feel like it stands out, you know, exactly what you're supposed to be saving. Um, so I really like doing that. I've always done that in my budgets. Um, as you can see here, now I'm just kind of moving things around. I'm trying to make it look more pretty, and um, I feel like it just it makes it easier to work with. Now I'm going to add in what I always add into my budgets, um, having a budgeted column, an actual column, and a difference column. And I'm going to do some formatting here, which I think it takes me a little bit to figure it out. And I realize now that I to I totally cut off this part. So if you want to know how to do this content um, conditional formatting where I put the um, anything that's under in green and anything that's over in red, you'll see in a second. Um, just let me know in the comments down below. I can give you guys um, a quick little um, video on that or I could just explain it to you in the comments. Um, so I'm just doing that right now. I'm also going to fill in like a pretend actual for this person just so you can see how it works. Um, we've I learned that in one of my accounting classes, we had a whole um, a whole class in Excel. So um, I thought it would be nice to kind of put that in there, and that's really nice because in my written budget, I do the same thing. Anything that's over, I put in red pen. Anything that's under, I put in green pen. And I just feel like it really helps you see where am I over, what do I need to either like increase or decrease my budget by um, and all of that. So again, you see me just figuring this all out. I haven't done it in a while, so I'm still trying to figure it all out. Um, but in a second, I'm going to add in actuals. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this type of video. I know a lot of people like to see like how I use the Erin Condren planner and they like to see how it looks cute and everything. But I do realize there are people who enjoy seeing Excel videos, so I decided to go ahead and do this. And again, this is how I did budgets before I did um, them in my Erin Condren, so I thought that it would be nice to show you guys that. So again, here I'm just filling in the actuals, and you can see where they're different. 
um, and then I'm going to show you the total savings there so you can see they were um, under their total budget. And that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.